Tulane needs a three with five, with four. Forbes open for three. Got it for the tie with 2.1. Temple no timeouts. Strickland for the win. And we're going to overtime in New Orleans. You're watching the American Athletic Conference on ESPN+. Plus. Lots of buzz these days in the Big Easy, not only for Mardi Gras, but for Tulane basketball. A golden opportunity tonight for the surging green wave, 9-5 in the American, welcoming in the 14th ranked Houston Cougars at 22-4. and four. What took two overtimes for Houston to gun out a win at Wichita State on Sunday. They stay a game ahead of SMU. Tulane, meanwhile, in a tie for third with Memphis. They haven't played in eight days since a win over South Florida. David Grubb and Jack Benjamin with you inside Avern B. Fulgerman Arena in the Devlin Fieldhouse. They've packed this place. Tulane 6 and 1 this year in conference home games, looking for a signature win against the number 14 team in the country. My biggest takeaway in that first half what did Quincy Anna McCoy have for breakfast? 11 points, three three pointers. Jaden Coleman, long three, puts it in. Tulane back in front. Jaden Coleman with a career high 14. Kendrick Davis locked up by Baker. Can't shake him. Outside a nut all stolen away. Tylen Pope to the rack. Jalen Cook step back triple. Wow. Oh, he's got another one. Wow. He's a flamethrower. It is Mardi Gras here in New Orleans, courtesy of Cartazzo's Bakery and Kenner. Some king cake. Look who got the baby. I got the baby, so I owe you one. I owe you one. The next one's on me. There we go. We've been munching on this the uh, the entire break. Freeman for Perry. That's a three. Ooh. Oh, C.J. Walker, look out below. Can Tulane get something in transition? Jalen Cook down the lane, flips it up and in. Oh, he's Houdini. The floater's a little short, gets the rebound yeah. and puts it in. Sandy Ryan with the first points of his college career. The former walk-on student manager gets a basket in the two-lane home finale on senior day. Well, Houston, the number 14 team in the country right now, started 20-2, the two losses to Wisconsin and Alabama by a combined three. They reached number six in the AP poll, but then a loss to SMU, a game they led by 14 late in the second half, led by 11 at halftime. A loss to Memphis in a game they led by five with five minutes to go. Then into the 37-game home win streak. How about this? That was the first time in more than five years they had lost back-to-back -back games. Kelvin Sampson's team, though, they win in double overtime at Wichita State on Sunday. They knock off UCF prior to that. Currently a four seed. Two teams right now, along with Memphis, projected in the AAC in the current bracket by Joe Lenardi. Well, that also shows that this the American Conference is starting to get more respect. It's gotten the level of basketball has gotten deeper in the conference over the last couple of years, and Tulane is a perfect example of that. How about the surge Memphis has been on? That rough start, they've gotten more healthy. Got DeAndre Williams back. Jalen Duren missed a lot of time. Picked up that big win at the Fertitta Center. That dunk won't count by James to foul on the floor with 11-10 to go. So an 11-point lead for the number 14 team in the country in the top field goal defense nationally. This is not the spot you want to be in against these guys being in comeback mode. No, and, and you're also allowing them to shoot better than 60% here in the second half, so you're not helping yourself on either end of the floor. Kevin Cross outside for James, turns the corner on White and banks it in. Eight points for James. It's a nine-point game. The question now is can they get stops? And that's been the question the entire second half. Tulane has gotten buckets and then immediately allowed Houston to respond. This crowd trying to will the green wave back into it. They've won four straight here at home, six and one in conference home games. Shot clock to five. Shed Walker, three, got it. What a silencer that is from Ramon Walker. It's back to 12. I know Ron Hunter wants to stick with that zone, but guys are coming in so deep to protect against the interior. They're not able to recover in time to stop the three-pointer. We approach the midway point of the second half. Jaden Coleman has not scored until now for three. 33 points in his last two games. His first bucket of this one. 
They really need him in this, these last 10 minutes. Fabian White, that's a big size mismatch on James, and he draws the foul. We've seen that a lot tonight. Houston's done a nice job against the zone, finding the mismatch. When they, when they see the guards rotating to the back side, they attack them. And you saw that there with White going in with the right hand, seeing that there was no one else to stop, and being able to turn back inside towards the paint and get that ball up above the rim for the shot attempt. Now, Fabian White last year was coming off a torn ACL. Missed the first 19 games, returned in February at Wichita State. He was a key piece to their NCAA tournament run. Talk about a guy returning in about eight months from an ACL. That's pretty unheard of in college basketball. He had, what, eight and seven against Oregon State in the Elite Eight, 12 against Cleveland State round one. Again, the winningest player in program history. He has been a key piece all these years for Kelvin Sampson. And you see, he keeps his motion's very limited. He doesn't do anything that he's not capable of doing. If he catches the ball, it's a quick turn or a pass out. And defensively, he knows how to use his body very well. The epitome of a team player. Couple of free throws there. Lead is back to 11. Can Tulane answer again? Cross given room by Cheney. Doesn't fire a three. Roberts has come back in as well. Tough pass caught by Coleman. Another three. Just haven't found that magic spark they've had this year at home. Particularly offensively. Houston at 61.5% in the second half so far. Jamal Shedd, Edwards. Offensive rebound by Roberts, wide open Walker. Not that time, cross a powerful rebound. Edwards goes down. And here comes Forbes. On the move to the basket, and free throws coming. And the physicality of this game continues to rise, and Houston is the better suited team to take advantage of that. Forbes here on the drive, hard contact. But he's got to continue. He's been trying to go to the, to the rack in the second half. He had that big dunk, but it just hasn't been enough. Julian has not been able to string together two, three baskets in a row or two, three stops in a row to get any closer than 11 points. Forbes makes that first free throw. Preseason second team all-conference selection. The first two-lane preseason all AEC pick since they joined the league in 2014, 2015. Again, four straight 20-point games coming in. Kelvin Sampson and Houston knew that. They've tried to neutralize him. His numbers this season is he misses that second free throw. Little things killing Tulane right now. Houston's leadership poise, very evident. And they've missed three free throws, a little uncharacteristic for a team that's at 78% in conference play at the line. Approaching eight to go. Tajay Moore inside Cheney, back and down Cross, who pulled the chair on him, but they call a foul first. This has really been hurting Tulane. It just feels like they're not getting a fair whistle inside. That's why this crowd is so irate. You look at Ron Hunter's face at this point, he doesn't know what to do. He's trying to get his guys to play defense, but they get, look, Cheney there pushing off to create separation, no call. Four team fouls. That was the first on Cross. Jamal Shedd running the show. Tajay Moore wide open for three. That time he makes Tulane pay. And it's right back to 13. Moore with only his second make from three on seven tries. Cook turns the corner. James to respond and does. 11 points, three threes. Well, you'd hope that James, though, would be your third or your fourth scorer. But a lot of the burden in the second half has fallen on him. Shed. No, offensive rebound again for Roberts. 
What a game he's played. Eight points, 10 boards. And we got a brief stoppage as we'll go to break. 7.15 to go, the 14th ranked team in the country back in control. Worried about that fatigue factor setting in for Houston. Doesn't look like it as they take a 12 point lead with 7.15 to go.